Galaxy, they lost a game. They typically do that away from home, right? Like, Galaxy at home, simply dominant, away from home, vulnerable at times. Lost 4-2 to Portland. It was a goal fest against the Timbers on Wednesday night. They're back at home, taking on the Vancouver Whitecaps. Brian White returned to the team. They played to a 1-1 draw, which cashed for myself and was a a little bit of a push for Bob uh, in terms of a live bet that he made on the last show. But we didn't know that Stuart Armstrong wasn't going to travel for Vancouver at that time. And Ali Ahmed didn't travel as well as Vanny Sertini was saving them for this game. Like TFC, Vancouver will be playing in the Canadian Championship final at home on Wednesday night. So perhaps a little bit of a look-ahead spot uh, for the Caps going into this one. Galaxy at minus 115, Vancouver at plus 282. Bob and Dan both have plays on this. Go ahead, Bob. What do you like? Yeah, I'm doing the same thing I did earlier just to get a better number. LA Galaxy and over one and a half goals at plus 105. And this was one that I think the line has actually kind of gone a little bit in uh, LA Galaxy's favor recently. I don't think it was at minus 115 this morning. That's why I kind of had to pair it with a dance partner there. Um, so, you know, over one and a half goals, plus 105, still getting plus money. Galaxy, 11, 3, and 1 at home, scoring 37 times in 15 matches while conceding only 22. Their only loss came against LAFC at the Rose Bowl on Independence Day. It wasn't even a home match, really, and no. that's going to you know break up their perfect home record. Um, again, I don't think that minus 120 really reflects their form very well. Vancouver, we've been chasing all year. They've played some excellent soccer. They've played some pretty bad soccer. Um, Seven, four, and four, playing really well away from home, but I don't think it's going to be enough in this one. LA won this matchup three-one on the road earlier in the season. Now LA Galaxy ties are turned, and they're at home. There's a lot of ways to bet this matchup, overs, and you know all these props. But I'm going to go with the simplest one: LA Galaxy over one and a half goals at plus one oh five. Uh, yeah, let's not complicate it. Let's take the better team and a very small goals total to do it. I really like the Whitecaps. I don't love the spot. It's it's a really good attacking team against a really good defensive team. Uh, I get Bob's logic here. Are you following his lead, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I I you know I I won't belabor the point since he hit on a lot of what I wanted to chat about. But this is just one of these bounce back spots that I like. It's, it's kind of similar to the way that we were looking at that Colorado game. Um, so let let's start with the the goal side of the equation, right? There's been 12 goals scored the last two LA Galaxy games. Four uh, two worked for them once and worked against them in, in the most recent game against Portland. But as far as just asking for there to be two goals in this game. It's happened 10 straight times the LA Galaxy have stepped onto the pitch. We've seen two or more goals scored in the game. And congrats to Vancouver. They forced a draw against Houston. They beat San Jose. They tied against Dallas. They beat Austin. What what world beaters they're uh, they're, they're uh, getting results and draws against. Things are about to get tougher, guys. Don't Galaxy hate. this week. Don't hate. Timbers next week. Surging Sounders team, scrappy Minnesota team. After that, the other shoe is about to drop on this Whitecaps team. Uh, it's 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 coming here, and it starts with a loss in Carson, California, this weekend against an LA Galaxy side, eleven three and one at home. I especially like them when they're coming off a loss. How about six zero oh, and one straight up this season when the Galaxy lose a game? Love them in the bounce back. Love them at home over the one and a half in LA Galaxy plus 105. Make it a double best bet for me and Bobby. Uh, Galaxy, no surreal midweek against Portland. Jovalich came off the bench. So did Marco Royce. Like they saved some of their big dogs, rotated for that game against the Timbers back home, a place they don't lose. Again, I really like the Whitecaps. I think they're going to be right in the mix. I think that some of those tough games down the stretch, they're going to win outright. This one, however, a very tough spot. Tend to agree with both of you. I'm not going to make a play, though. I'll leave it mm. those bets up to Bob and Dan. Two official plays, both backing the Galaxy and both backing the over one and a half, both at a plus number at plus 105. 